Hi and welcome to the Dental Advisor. Today we tackle the class 3 preparation for modern resin composite restorations. We will start with creating a typical textbook class 3 cavity. Now to this we will apply a traditional bevel which is most often practiced in our clinics today. Now the problem I see with this minimal bevel is that it does not allow us to harness the adhesive superiority of the enamel resin bond. Moreover, this bevel will not, in most cases, help you mask the cavity margins. It will also make you leave unappealing, unaesthetic resin class 3s. Now haven't we done that before? Now I am What's happening my throat? I mm, <coughs> probably need a little bit of water. Uh, a little sip of tequila. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. It's really, really nice. So, what I am proposing is borrowed from my learning at BioClear Tacoma under the guidance of Dr. David Clark. With the use of a long tapered diamond, I am proposing that we extend the margins of the bevel to include more of the palatal and labial surface, harnessing all that lovely enamel there to strengthen your restoration. Now I know some of you may be raising your eyebrows, scratching your heads and thinking, whoa, that's a heck of a lot of destruction. Whatever happened to minimally invasive dentistry? But you know what? A bevel of this magnitude serves to increase the surface area of your restoration greatly and this will in turn promote longevity of your composite restoration. Another huge plus is that this kind of preparation allows you to truly mask the cavity margins. I follow a meticulous regimen when it comes to tooth preparation and that involves a series of steps starting with the football diamond, long tapered diamond and then I use a PM4 ultrasonic tip which is from I think uh, Satlik. Yeah, PM stands for the perfect margin 4. This helps to smoothen the prepared surface and iron out any rough edges after the previous steps. Finally, I use pumice prophylactic paste with a rubber cup to get rid of any of the adherent biofilm. The feathered bevel is almost zero at the margin, promising you an infinity edge to your restoration. So the key features of this type of preparation includes a large surface bevel, feathered down to near zero and the absence of sharp margins anywhere in the preparation. Now the advantages that I see of this type of preparation is that the amount of surface area of enamel that is available for bonding is greatly, greatly enhanced from the previous very anemic minimal style of preparation for class 3s. This is going to help your restoration to stay for a very long time. Should you have any questions on this type of preparation, please feel free to use the comment section down below. I will be available at your service to answer the best that I can. Thank you for watching.